Hi, my name is Erica and I am starting a YouTube journey of trying to get out of debt and trying to change a few other things in my lifestyle that I know could make my journey a lot less stressful and give me a lot more freedom. So just a little background about me. I am a teacher. I have student loans that I just want to get rid of. I have two credit cards of which one, thank you Lord, has been paid off because of the summer jobs that I got this year to try to pay that off. And I still got one left. So that one student loan, I, excuse me, that one credit card left. I have student loans, maybe around 12,000 something dollars left. Um, and then I have plans of wanting to get a home soon. So maybe within the next year and a half or so, getting a home to get out of apartment living, which costs so much money, yet you ain't getting nothing out of it. But that's a whole other situation. Um, and then wanting to go back to grad school. So with the apartment living, of course, again, I kind of said that under my breath, but I was being totally honest. It's so much money to put into an apartment for it not to be yours. And though I do understand the convenience of it, especially with household repairs, it's just a lot of money to be putting out when it's not gonna be yours. So I'm kind of heading that way of trying to get up out this apartment. But then the other thing um, with student loans, I only got like 12,000 some dollars left. I wanna go back to grad school eventually, but old girl is not about to get up in no debt. We not doing it. We not finna put $35,000. No, it's not going to happen. So I'm going to have to work my booty off. But in the journey of trying to do savings, I want to pay for my grad school as I go. Whether that's just two or three courses at a time, so be it. But we're going to start working on savings to try to do that. Because I am not getting back in debt no more. I'm just not. So with that said, I want to keep myself accountable more than anything. Not just to have people look at it. Because, of course, I think that if I am successful, Lord knows, I pray that I am successful, that you will be able to get something from it, too. But when I have to actually log it and put it on here and have other people looking at it, then y'all can call me out. And I have to make sure that, okay, I said I was going to do it. I got to stick by what I'm going to do. So that's one of the biggest reasons why I'm going ahead and kind of staying with the video part of it is because I'm just trying to keep myself accountable, more or less. So what am I doing to do that? Let me show you. Number one thing, I have tried to get into VIP Kid. Um, I hope that it works out really well. Today was supposed to be my interview, but ironically, or I won't even call it ironically, crazily enough, my, my uh, webcam was acting crazy. My mic was acting crazy. On my end, it was showing up perfect. Like my computer said it was right. When I went to the VIP teacher portal, it the settings on that was perfect, but the uh, interviewee, like I guess the mock teacher, couldn't hear me. So I sat there frantically for like 10 minutes or 8 minutes, I guess, trying to get my sound right so that she could hear it and she still can hear it. So I had to reschedule. I'm hoping, hoping that it'll actually work out to where I can do VIP Kid because it's so simple to do from home. I still, of course, have to go through that mock interview to be accepted, but I hope it works out. So this is my little setup here that I did yesterday. Right up there in that corner there. Okay. So you got that good old microphone over there. And you got some of the different things. Not all of this shows in the view. But this is kind of the basic setup. And with these right here, what I do is just take the lampshades off and kind of bend them back. So the light source will be on me. And then I'll take the shade off of this here and that will be out and open in two and then obviously with these nice little shutters or windows open i'm able to get a lot of sunlight in and be able to do it that way too so that's number one thing is doing vip kit or trying to do that if vip kit does not work out i'm probably going to get another job just being honest um i was teaching voice and piano for a minute but if I do that, I want to get back into it where I'm like legit. So like with that business license and stuff and having a place to do it. I can't do it here at my place because it ain't really mine. It's the apartment complexes. So finding a place to actually host the lessons would be really great. But I've done it before um, in different various places where I know that, you know, it's, 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 I mean, 
feasible. That's the word I'm looking for. I can definitely do that. So I'm going to try to do lessons again. If VIP kid um, does not work out, that'll be where I go and just try to find a place to do it. I am looking so rough. I apologize. I will look better along the way, but today is just not that day. So that's one thing. The second thing is getting rid of junk I do not need. And with that junk, I could either sell it like going to Plato's Closet or some other place where they will actually take old clothes and give you cash for them. Um, or like with my younger siblings, some of them might be able to fit into my clothing so it won't go to waste there or just donate them out. That's twofold. That'll number one, help me to see everything I got in my closet because there's not a lot of stuff in there. Um, and I won't go back out and buy the same thing because it's a whole bunch of clothes in there to where I can't see now it's just really tiny to where it's easy for me to say okay I got this and then when I use this up I'm gonna throw it away and get another one I'm not gonna keep adding stuff in there um, I went on YouTube and looked at some videos about minimalism so I'm kind of I wouldn't say that I'm gonna be a hundred percent minimalist no I'm not I can't say that but I am going to significantly significantly cut out some of the stuff that I've been doing so with that said this is my bedroom now Okay, it was not like this. It was not like this. I can tell you that right now, it was nothing like this. This whole little situation right here is just a thing of beauty. Because if you had a scene with this mother look like before, you'd be like, oh my gosh, what are you doing? But kind of got set, set up right here. So it's kind of easy. I can actually walk. Wow, amazing. Walk through. And then you got just this section of clothes. If you knew how many clothes, like right now you see some gaps in between. There were no gaps. It was all packed in here. And I mean, that sucker was from there, like where these empty racks are, all the way to the other side of the closet. I had clothes in there. And a lot of them I wasn't even wearing. It was just sitting there because I was like, well, what if one day I might want to? Or, oh, she looks so cute in there. Let me get that. And then it don't look good on me. So, we gonna get what looks good on me i'm gonna wear everything we're gonna wash it again and we're gonna wear it again we're gonna mix and match the shirts that we already got we ain't buying nothing new unless we throw some away and we're gonna keep it to this amount of clothes and i would probably say in every section like with the shirts and stuff i probably got like eight maybe seven or eight of those and that's like jackets excuse me so jackets i got like seven or eight and that includes cardigans and stuff and then with the sh short sleeved and long sleeve shirts i probably got about eight total period with dresses and like my little pants suit thing whatever you would call that um i got about seven or eight skirts i got about five shorts i got about four and then i got one two three four five about eight or nine pairs of pants including my jeans and my dress pants so we keeping it there i mean i'm gonna be honest with you back in the day the thought of and i mean back in the day as in a couple of days ago the thought of me having to just like rewear stuff and i don't mean rewear as in get it all funky and stuff and then don't wash it no i ain't talking about that i'm talking about like washing it and just like wearing the same thing like next week mortified me because i'm like well folks gonna see that i'm wearing the same things and they're gonna be like oh she ain't got no money and oh she she must be broke she gotta wear the same clothes she ain't trying to come with something new nope i mean before that would have been like oh my gosh i want them to be like she's so cool she fits in so well i'm like <laughs> but mm -mm. we get to the point now like i'm 32 years old y'all i'm old oh i'm gonna say i'm, I'm semi-old i'm getting to a point where i'm like whatever boo. i'm trying to do me I'm trying to get things paid off and if being minimalist will help simplify that to where I don't overbuy stuff, I don't overwash stuff and whatever I get is going to be great quality. So I can put my money when I do spend into stuff that is wonderful quality. So that means I can go get a shirt that's worth like, like worth or a shirt that is 40 something dollars, which typically that ain't me, boo. You're going to see me at the thrift store. Um, doing something if anything okay but if i know that okay i'm only getting eight shirts this shirt gonna last me because we're gonna be wearing this mug at least three or four five five six seven eight times a month then i'll put the money into it as opposed to buying all this little bitty stuff and having like a whole closet full of stuff and then going back and being like oh i don't know if i can actually wear it i look good on me blah 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 we're gonna wear everything in this closet and honestly even with some of this stuff here if i don't wear it within like 
three weeks, I'm getting rid of it. Like some of this stuff, I'm just like, oh, I might be able to. No, no, no. If it's not worn, I'm taking it out. Um, and again, that's just to declutter. It feels so much better to not have crap all over the place in here. And I can actually walk through and I know where everything is. Um, it just feels better to be able to have it to where it's just less. Less is more. All right, so that's the one other step that I'm doing. And I'm not going to even take you into the front room because the front room looks a hot, atrocious mess. Um, but yeah, so like with my bedroom now, like I've moved my bed over and my bedroom looks so much bigger because I got rid of stuff and I got everything to one side. So I got this big wide open space to walk through here. It's just amazing. And it was just getting rid of trash that I ain't using that I know I'm not going to use, but I want to hold on to just in case the opportunity arises. Well, if it arises, we'll go out and do something with it. All right. So um, the other thing is, and I know this video is getting extremely long, is that um, I went online like looking up how can I kind of get things together financially with savings, even if I'm not able to do VIP kid or even if I'm not able to teach um, the music lessons throughout the school year. I actually do teach music in a school. Um, and let me tell you, being a music teacher, boo, ooh, you are going to be worked. You're going to get your money's worth <laughs> as a teacher. So that in and of itself is just a lot of work. And um, we only really got about a few more days before I'm technically time to go back to school. And so I know once it's time, once we start, it's, that's it, bro. Like, mm, that's all. That's all, folks. That's all. That's all I'm going to have time for just about. Um, now, in the afternoons, I'm going to want to rest up and not be like, mentally going crazy and that includes like working all the time and make that extra money so if i'm only able to commit let's say seven or eight additional hours to getting a second job how can i with the income that i currently have save in certain areas so i went online and i found jordan page um and she had this 70 percent like living off of 70 percent of your income so oh girl gonna try that I've been doing it, I would say, for like three days. So I started Wednesday. Today is Friday. Um, and I mean, it's tough because I know what I typically what I would do, um, especially with like the eating. Um, the eating is the biggest thing. The eating out is just so convenient to just go get that burger, go get them fries. Instead of just saying, okay, what do I already have at the house that's just sitting there because I have to cook it? Um, and then what can I bring into the house once I finish that food that needs to be cooked? That's where I am now. And so um, I have spent some money, but a lot of that has not been on food. Um, it has literally been on like I spent it on gas. Um, it's not on clothes <laughs> right now. Um, like just stuff I need, uh, like vitamins and so forth. So that's what it's been on. And I'm learning to say, okay, well, I'm gonna have to wait until my time starts over um, to be able to do that. So I'm gonna quickly just show you the uh, little envelope that I've started that just looks so righty tatty but she suggested as an individual which i am that you should maybe give yourself about a hundred dollars a month a month mm -hmm. oh yeah a month which means 25 dollars a week for groceries and then another column which is for just like stuff that comes up where that's like oh, okay well i need to go get some I don't know like I need to get a new comforter because this one's getting old and ratty tatty or I need to get a new rug or I need to get new silverware for the kitchen or stuff like that can come out of the other fund or even gas which is what I'm putting other in so um so far this is what my envelope looks like it's all bent up and stuff because I put it in my purse but it doesn't matter what it looks like as long as I understand it right um and so I got the weeks of August laid out here I got out how much I'm gonna have and how much I'm gonna spend and as sloppily as possible, I guess, I have written down what I've used and what I got left over. So with the grocery, I literally have nothing. I'm actually in the negative um, because I did overspend $5 in the grocery column. So I had to go over to the other column to borrow. And currently I'm at $21 in that other column. So for until Sunday, which is what I'm going to make the beginning of my week, I only got $21. So that we're going to have to budget that food. We're going to have to budget the gas and how much I'm using. But it's just a day. So I think I should be able to make it off of $21. And I got food here at the house that I could cook. Whew. So that was a whole lot in 15 minutes. But I hope to keep this up to date. And if you are following along, you can do it. If I can do it, trust me. And I'm a procrastinator. You can certainly do it.
बाय